probably think you know all about the Exploratorium. You came here as a kid, or you brought your nephew here when he was visiting San Francisco. But have you ever been to the Exploratorium after dark? Did you even know there was a monthly party called After Dark? At After Dark, science mixes with culture, and adults mix with other adults, and there's no kids allowed. And every month, there's a different theme to the party. And to tell us about the themes is Melissa Alexander. So Melissa, tell us a little about some of the previous themes we've had. Well, let's see. We've had sexplorations, time, glow, sugar, red, blue, many, many things. Cool. And what's the theme tonight? Well, tonight is rock, paper, scissors. We're having a tournament tonight, but we've also used rock, paper, scissors as a jumping off point to explore a lot of different ideas around it. Tonight you can find out about lizards that use a sort of rock, paper, scissors game as a, their reproductive strategy. You can interact with this art piece called the Sumi Ink Club, created by Lucky Dragon. You can get your hair cut from a really cool place called the Public Barber Salon, and they use scissors only. You can find out a little bit about local geology, too. Great. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. Let's go check it out. This is actually the most common rock on the surface of the Earth. The interesting thing is that most of this rock is covered over by the ocean, so you don't see it. I'm here with Eric Muller, who just did a really cool presentation on plate tectonics. Eric, tell us a little about what we just saw. So we just wrapped up a little section of um, a lesson on plate tectonics um, here at the Exploratorium in the Webcast Theater. And uh, the theme tonight is rock, paper, scissors. And of course, uh, I was a geologist a long time ago, and so my theme was on rocks. Are you surprised to see so many people having this much fun learning about science? Um, no, actually, you know, the people that come here to these After Dark events are actually kind of self-selected to begin with. They actually already enjoy science. I teach teachers how to have fun with their kids, but this is general public over here is a great audience too. They're really interested in science. Science and drinks and good friends. I have a blast every time. I love how they have different themes. And then it also has a bar and a cafe, so it's kind of got everything I need for several hours. We're actually excited for the speaker. It's kind of dorky, but we're looking forward to it. It's nice to be in the Exploratorium when there's not a lot of kids running around. On my line. Bro. Yeah, paper versus paper. Before tonight, I never knew there were major league rules to rock, paper, scissors. I'm getting ready to enter into a competition, and Sarah Koik is here to give me a few tips. Sarah, I want to bring home the gold. What do I need to do to win? All right, so this is a game of chance to a, to a degree, and I think one of the best ways to bring home a gold is a degree of intimidation, maybe a little bit of eye contact, maybe a little bit of, you know, a little bit of muscle. Uh, it's a no-contact sport, so you can't actually touch the other person. But sheer eye contact, I think, is a good way to maybe intimidate and see if you could kind of set them off and see if they throw something they didn't mean to. Okay, so I'm going to try to use a little eye contact and we'll see what happens. I don't know what happened. Got kicked off in the first round. Oh, and a two to zero victory. Give it up for Sunny, the rock, paper, scissors champion of the Exploratorium. You just won the Exploratorium rock, paper, scissors tournament. What are you going to do next? Get a beer. Fun here tonight. I got my scissors tattoo, but before we go, I'd like to thank Melissa Alexander for having us here tonight. Melissa, how did you know San Francisco needed a night like tonight? Well, thank you so much for coming, and I guess I would say that everybody that lives in San Francisco loves the Exploratorium. We're reluctant to push the kids out of the way during the day, so I knew that we needed to create one evening a month just for the rest of us to have a good time, the adults. Absolutely. And where can we go to find out what's coming up on After Dark? That's easy. Exploratorium.edu slash After Dark. There you go. Well, Melissa, thanks again. And thank you for watching Culture Wire on SFW TV.